Oh, hey, I was muted. Oh, hey. So, welcome back to Horror Hardcore in Minecraft. A lot of zombies, a lot of darkness, a lot of death. I've been able to survive more than... Oh, wait. Uh, nine days? With this mod? Uh, we're starting a new world. World 16. And we're gonna see how far we can get. And in the in-between, I'll be reading from the Books of Blood, because that's a lot of fun. In the in-between, I mean uh, at night, because I can't sleep through the night. I gotta wait it out while the zombies swarm around the base of whatever I'm <laughs> trying to hide in. So, here we go. Let's get to it. World 16. Oh, I have the wrong number there. Oh, control. Oh. There we go. Oh, what did I break? How did I break? You good? Running that correctly. Okay, a little technical difficulties here, at least troubleshooting. 240. I said my OBS is back to doing that thing it likes to do sometimes where the uh doesn't update properly. Okay, now it's working. No, nope, anymore. Whatever. I'm gonna ignore it. Let's go. Day one. Punch a tree. Alright, some dark oak. Nice. Come on, I need three. Thank you. Ba boom. We make everything now. Fast as we can so the zombies don't eat us. Ask me a question and boom. Okay, good start. Time to get. Zombies already. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Those are bees. I don't know. It's not going to be zombie bees. Zombie bees? Zombie bees. Yeah, not zombie bees. Uh, quickly make a. Make a boat real quick. There we go. Alright. This will be the easiest way to get around it first. Maybe go around this biome and see if I can spot anything on the coast. I need food. Ooh, bamboo's not bad. Oh, I got a honey pot there. I think I can use that. Oh, but we also got stone and... Uh, coal, so that's awesome. Do that. Upgrade the stone weapons. Come on. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's one. And there's two. Cool. Immediately upgrade. Let's get an axe. Boom. Okay, we're doing better. Use the wood axe for now. Uh, I may have to close the uh, 
the door. It's loud. We'll see. Not really. Okay, cool. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, I needed food. Oh, I think I was going to go for the bamboo so I can get some scaffold in a bit. If it comes up. It's so easy to chop. Might as well. Boom. This ain't food, though, so... I might be able to scaffold, but I might starve to death. Let's see. 33, eh? Still haven't spotted food yet. Let's go. Hmm. I don't want to go too deep in the water. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, this could tank my frame, right? Let's see. So far, so good. Oh, hey, what we got here? Oh, nice. Looks like we have big fishing boat and a fishing hut. This is great. This is great. This is food. Let's go. Uh, this. The problem with all this stuff is that zombies start appearing down here. We're going to have a problem. Oh, I see a whale. Oh, and I can always use cobble for a uh, furnace. Let's go for that first. Burning daylight. Well aware. My macro deck's apparently broken because I went and renamed all my scenes in OBS <clears throat> to organize myself better, but also broke everything that referenced a name, I'm pretty sure. So, that's fine. Oh, that feels like a waste of time. Come on, come on. Just use this one. Okay, right here. Sure. Hey. Hey, bud, where are you? Hey. Huh? Sylvie. Oh, I wish I had some string for you. Here, take this mossy cobblestone and this random door. <laughs> sure, that was fine. Uh, well, I got a little bit of coal. I can at least make light. Man, you're going to die. Oh, you know what? I can take your lantern. I'm going to go join the boys on the boat. That's where it's at. Thank you. Yeah, screw this. Go the boat. Oh, yes. Wait, first this. There is treasure. There we go. Ooh, obsidian. Iron. Oh, ho. Yes. And then there should be one more. It's right here. Sure. Armor. Sure. All right. Let's go. Guess I haven't found much food yet, except for that suspicious too. So these guys will have. These guys will have something. Do. Boom. Hey, here. Let me help. There you go. And in payment, I'm going to take your beef and your fish. Leave you with sugar and beets and puffer fish. I'm sure you'll make do. Excuse me. Yes. Yes, 
this, this. Uh, okay. Ooh, golden apple. All right. Oh, and then yes, please. I'll take this. Food in block form. <laughs> Obsidian. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, is it getting nighttime? Uh oh. Huh. Whatever. Whoa. What are you doing, bud? Don't come down here. You can't get out. You're stuck. Good job, Ginger. Alright, I'll make you a ladder. Uh, or make you a stair. Let's see. I think... About here? There. There you go. Any path? You got this? Let's go, bud. Coal, yes, please. Ooh, bucket. Yes. Cool. Oh, yeah. Is there anything up here? Take a look. Okay, it is going to be a long night. But we're gonna be safe up here, I'm pretty sure. Let's uh let's Okay, let's ensure that safety by making some torches. Placing them down around here. Cool. should do. Oh, I should get my boat before the drown do. Yes. Cool. Wait, am I bleeding? No, I'm not bleeding. Okay, I think we'll be safe. I think zombies could probably spawn there and there, but maybe not if I'm this, if they're this close to me. Okay, first night we're going to spend on the water. Look to the west. Hey! Alright, there we go, first night. So, let's uh, crack out a book. Windows is being so weird. Here come the zombies. Um, five barker. Let's go. Borrow for an hour.
whatever. Okay, that works. Um, I don't know what page I was on though. Hold on. I took a screenshot. Oh, there it is. We were on page 22, 23. There we go. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm just going to start at the top of 22 because I don't remember exactly. There was a blind... Excuse you. There was a blind drawn down over the window between the cars, which hadn't been down before, as he remembered. A little concern crept into Kaufman's sober head. Suppose he'd been sleeping a long while and the guard had overlooked him in the car. Perhaps they'd passed far uh, Rockaway, and the train was now speeding on its way to whatever they took the train wherever they took the trains for the night. Fuck it, he said out loud. Should he go forward and ask the driver? It was such a bloody idiot question to ask. Where am I? At this time of night, he was likely to get more than a stream of abuse by the way of reply. Uh, then the train began to slow. A station. Yes, a station. The train emerged from the tunnel and into the dirty light of the station at West 4th Street. He'd missed no stops. So, where had the boy gone? Either he, He'd either ignored the warning on the car wall before... Forbidding transfer between cars while in transit, or else he'd gone into the driver's cabin up front. Probably between the driver's legs even now, Kaufman thought, his lips curling. It wasn't unheard of. This was the Palace of Delights, after all, and everyone had their right to a little love in the dark. Kaufman shrugged to himself. What did he care where the boy had gone? The doors closed. Nobody had boarded the train chunted off from the station, the lights flickering as it used a surge of power to pick up some speed again. Kaufman felt the desire for sleep come over him afresh, but the sudden fear of being lost had pumped adrenaline into his system, and his limbs were tingling with nervous energy. His senses were sharpened, too. Even over the clatter and the rumble of the wheels on the tracks, he heard the sound of tearing cloth come from the next car. Was someone tearing their shirt off? He stood up, grasping one of the straps for balance. The window between the cars was completely curtained off, but he stared at it, frowning as though he might suddenly discover x-ray vision. The car rocked and rolled. It was really traveling again. Another ripping sound. Was it rape? With no more than a mild voyeuristic urge, he moved down the seesawing car towards the intersecting door, hoping there might be a chunk in the or clink in the curtain. His eyes were still fixed on the window, and he failed to notice the splatters of blood as he was treading in, or he was treading in, until his heel slipped. He looked down; his stomach almost saw the blood before his brain, and the ham on the whole wheat was halfway up his gullet, catching in the back of his throat. Blood. He took several large gulps of stale air and looked away, back at the window. He was, his head was saying, blood. Nothing would make the word go away. There was no more than a yard uh, or two between him and the door now. He had to look. There was blood on his shoe and a thin trail to the next car, but he still had to look. He had to. He took two more steps to the door and scanned the curtain looking for a flaw in the blind. A pulled thread in the weave would be sufficient. There was a tiny hole. He glued his eye to it. His mind refused to accept what his eyes were seeing beyond the door. It rejected the spectacle as preposterous, as a dreamed sight. He re his reason said it could be real. It couldn't be real, but his flesh knew it was. His body became rigid with terror. His eyes, unblinking, could not close off the appalling scene through the curtain. He stayed at the door while the train rattled on, while his blood drained from his extremities and his blood, or sorry, his brain reeled from lack of oxygen. Bright spots of light flashed in front of his vision, blotting out the atrocity. Then he fainted. He was unconscious when the train reached J Street. He was deaf to the driver's announcement that all travelers beyond that station would have to change trains. 
Had he heard this, he would have questioned the sense of it. No trains disgorged all their passengers at J Street. The line ran to Mott Avenue via the aqueduct racetrack past JFK Air Airport. He would have asked what kind of train this could be, except that he already knew. The truth was hanging in the next car. It was smiling contently in itself from behind a bloody chainmail apron. This was the midnight meat train. There's no accounting for time in a dead faint. It could have been seconds or hours that passed before Kaufman's eyes flickered open again and his mind focused on his newfound situation. He lay under one of the seats now, sprawled along the vibrating walls of the car, hidden from view. Fate was with him so far. Oh, sorry. Fate was with him so far, he thought. Somehow, the rocking of the car must have jockeyed his unconscious brain out of sight. I didn't parse that sentence properly. My brain did, at least. Oh, the sun's coming up. Let's try to get to 24 here. He thought the horror in the in car two. He thought of the horror in car two and swallowed back vomit. He was alone. Wherever the guard was, murdered perhaps. There was no way he could call for help. And the driver, he was. Was he dead at the controls? Was the train even now hurtling through an unknown tunnel? A tunnel without a single station to identify it? Without its. towards its destruction? Okay. Amazing. Okay, so uh, I need to <laughs> take back my torches. This is the one thing about being out at sea that's just like very helpful is is uh <laughs> sorry, I thought there was a zombie there. Is that they don't really spawn, like they can't spawn on the water, think. So, a little safer in that regard. Oh, I didn't do any of the things. I should have been cooking food. Oh, dearie me, I did that wrong. Okay, well, at least I have bread. And my axe is out. Probably take that. Okay. That worked. Yo. Oh, I see the thing for a city. Whoa, what is that? How high does that go? Crazy. Oh, what happened to the music? Well, I've given the system every fighting chance to be able to balance this. Hopefully, it'll be okay here. Okay. I think it's mostly because I'm running the shader, right? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We do not want that. We do not want that whale. GTFO. Oh, I don't want this jungle either. Alright, I've got to get around this. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> keep an eye on that whale. Also keep an eye out for iron as we go by. Oh, what was that? Okay, just fish. No buildings so far. Another lonely fisherman. We're just going to leave him be. 
Okay. It's on fire. It's not a house. Oh, oh. A little messed up here. Let's go like this. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Yes. Yes, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm going to need more than that, but still. Let's keep going around. This might be a big lake. I'm never going to find out if I end up back at those other two boats. For those bloody whales. Oh, I'll take that. Don't see anything in the water? Okay. Okay. Go straight for it. Boom. Oh, 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 oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I will take it. Pants. Oh, and your stew. Okay. Thank you. I don't really care about fire protection. It might save me if I accidentally set myself on fire. I guess zombies set me on fire a lot, too. Um... Man... All right, cool. I'm just gonna, do I have, I got only have two diamonds. If I can get one more, I'm set. Diamond axe, here I come. Okay. So this train has been a little shite. Swirl gen, whoa, whoa, okay. Dolphin, dolphin's cool. Dolphin, you can absolutely hang. No orcas, please. Ooh. Careful. I think the flying fish are pretty cool. Okay. Uh-oh returning again. Nope. Don't want it. Don't want your caves. No, thank you. Ooh, I will take some of this gravel, though. I want some flint. Give me some flint. Two pieces then. And at least two pieces. It's fine though, because if the more gravel I get it, the more I can get flint later, I guess. Plus this is easier for stacking. Oh maybe not though. Because if if there's minor zombies that can break blocks, they can break the pillar if I'm using this for pillar. Hmm. Oh, I got three. You know what? That's great. That's great. What I don't need is that random piece of carpet and a random piece of fence. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I see. Highway. That's cool. Across the water. Ooh. Ooh, we got some planes? Do we got some planes over here? I like me some planes. Or is this just a peninsula? Another... Another ship thing. Okay, I'm going for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. Mm, we can have horse. Okay, okay. 
Okay, cleaning up. Doing good. Where's the last ones? Right here. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What we got? Oh, that's a bad ship. You will have some treasure mined. I might be able to just get the treasure by doing this. Come on. Yes. Thank you. I'll take your sword of shirt. Oh. Okay, I need to trade with you. Here, take the stews. They take up too much room. I'll take all that. And that. Let's put that on before they kill me. And shield. Eh. There we go. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so this high okay, there's the city. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh shit. Whoa! Whoa! Why are you so fast? Why are you so fast? Why are you so fast? They're not normally ever that fast. Oh man, maybe I was just taking unawares or something, but want the actual fuck, dude. What is your problem? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, boat. Come on, boat. Oh shit, do I not have a, oh, I don't have a slot free. Mm. There, you stay in the water. Did he, you going down, going downtown? Uh, drop, okay. That. Move my boat, thank you. Um oh shit. Okay. Okay. There's a castle over there too. Alright. Oh fuck the sounds. The sounds, the sounds. Um, alright, this is pretty much where I'm gonna have to pillar up, so just make it to this other little bit of come on. Right out on the edge, right here. Perfect. Okay, go up, up, up. What do I have? Gravel. Sure. Here they come. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. <laughs> Pillaring up in the dark. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, what am I standing on? It's not there. Okay, that's being a little weird. Uh, let's use, I gotta make a platform. Uh, so they don't exactly see me and get any funny ideas. Come on, render. Render your face. There we go. I don't know why that does that. At least I'm not getting the weird sky issue this time. It's not snowing. Okay. Before we can read, need to actually set some things up. So let's go. Furnace. Um, might as well cook this iron first. Let's burn that. 
then I'll make an axe. Oh, I can make it. Oops. Uh, I can make a diamond axe. I'll have two diamonds left. I can't really do much with that, but it's fine. But uh, no, don't you dare start snowing. Let's go B first. What else? I can make a gun. I don't have any gunpowder though. So never mind, I can't make a gun. I can make an axe. There we go. Uh, and then I'm also no. What am I wearing? It's like three armor, two armor. What I need is leather boots. I don't need these. But let's get some iron pants and iron boots. Okay, that's an upgrade. Here, some zombies can have that. And that saves three iron for later. Um, oh, I did not mean to toss my bucket. It's gone. It's just gone. Okay. Well, I have. I can make a bucket if I if I spot any lava. Oh, you know what? That was the other thing I need to make. Fire. I need to be able to set things on fire. Ooh, and I can have crossbow. There we go. Oh, I should use that up first. There we go. Cool. This will take some time. <laughs> A little aggressive. There we go. All right. Oh, hit T and tab. Bring the book back up. Okay, top of page 24. And if there was no crash to be killed in, there was always the butcher still hacking away a door's thickness from where Kaufman lay. Whichever way he turned, the name on the door was death. The noise was deafening, especially living lying on the floor. Kaufman's teeth were shaking in their sockets and his face felt numb with the vibration. Even his skull was aching. Gradually, he felt the strength seeping back into his exhausted limbs. He cautiously stretched his fingers and clenched his fists to set, to set the blood flowing there again. And as the feeling returned, so did the nausea. He kept seeing the grisly brutality of the next car. He'd seen photographs of murder victims before, of course, but these were no common murders. He was in the same train as the subway butcher, the monster who strung his victims up by the feet from the straps, hairless and naked. How long would it be before the killer stepped through that door and claimed him? He was sure that if the slaughterer didn't finish him, expectation would. He heard movement beyond the door. Instinct took over. Kaufman thrust himself further under the seat and tucked himself up into a tiny ball with his sick white face off to the wall. Then he covered his head with his hands and closed his eyes as tightly as any child in terror of the boogeyman. The door was slid open. Click. Whoosh. A rush of air up from the rails. It smelt stranger than any Kaufman had smelt before and colder. This was somehow primal air in his nostrils, hostile and unfathomable air. It made him shudder. The door closed. Click. The butcher was close, Kaufman knew. 
to be standing no more than a matter of inches from where he lay. Was he even now looking down at Kaufman's back, even now bending knife in hand to scoop Kaufman out of his hiding place like a snail hooked uh, from its shell? Nothing happened. He felt no breath on his neck. His spine was not slid open. There was simply a clatter of feet close to Kaufman's head, then the same sound receding. Kaufman's breath held in his lungs till they hurt was expelled in a rasp between his teeth. Mahogany was almost disappointed that the sleeping man had alighted at the West 4th station. He was hoping for one more job to do that night, to keep him occupied while they descended, but no, the man had gone. The potential victim hadn't looked that healthy anyway, he thought to himself. He was an anemic Jewish accountant, probably. The meat wouldn't have been of any quality. Mahogany walked to the length of the car to the driver's cabin. He'd spend the rest of the journey there. My Christ, thought Kaufman, he's going to kill the driver. He heard the cabin door open, then the voice of the butcher, low and hoarse. Hi. Hi. They knew each other. All done. All done. Kaufman was shocked by the banality of the exchange. All done. What did that mean, all done? He missed the next few words as the train hit a particularly noisy section of track. Kaufman could resist looking no longer. Warily, he uncurled himself and glanced over his shoulder down the length of the car. All he could see was the butcher's legs and the bottom of the open cabin door. Damn. He wanted to see the monster's face again. There was laughter now. Kaufman calculated the risk of his situation, the mathematics of panic. If he remained where he was, sooner or later the butcher would glance down at him and he'd be in mincemeat. On the other hand, if he were to move from his hiding place, uh, he could, he would risk being seen and pursued. Which was worse? Sorry, which was worse? Stasis and meeting his death trapped in a hole? Or making a break for it and confronting his maker in the middle of the car? Kaufman surprised himself with his medal. He moved. Okay, we'll stop there. It's day three. Hell yeah. Now let's not die a stupid death. Oh wow. There's more ice on the ground than there was before. God, they're going faster than I remember. I wonder what that's about. Not gonna die this way. I see the long shadow of the palace I'm standing on. All right, where am I going from here? This whole area is super dangerous, and I really hate being in the snow. Oh, yeah. Uh. might make sense to have a shovel. That should be fine. I'm using my iron for this, but there we go. Sometimes saving time means saving daylight. No, actually, no, it always means that. Not better. Are they coming for me? No, oh, we're good. I'll take it. Okay. Let's get this boat and try to get out of here. Oh, where's my food? Uh, uh, uh. I don't 
like it's notice me. Let's go. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Yay, as we go out of the snow. Oh, as we go back in. Okay. Well, this might be a river. Something knows I'm around. Oh. Oh. Is the squid? Get out of my way, squid. That's some signs of life. I can post up up there. Let's do it. It's got to be a village. Zombie livestock. Is that what we're dealing with? Yep, yeah, some zombie livestock. Let's go. Cool. How do I access your village? Okay. I'll take it. Hey, how's it going uh, there, Rosalie? Rosalie? Oh! oh. She's. Do not gesture with a sword. Oh. Dumb. Oh, this is the type of village I'm not going to find much. I might as well take your hay. This is actually super useful. I never remember what breaks hay blocks fastest. Probably how? Cool. How many do I got? 43. Screw your mob alerted. I don't care about your mob alerted. I'm gonna ignore it. Oh, what do you got in here? What do you got in here? I mean, I'll take your bread, but it's disappointing. Oh no, nothing. Maybe. Yeah, take that, you keep that. What are you shooting at? Oh, the chicken. Good thing they can't aggro the golem. Okay. Man, if you can find some redstone, that would be grand. It's not worth staying in this village, I think. Really need a bunch of bread. They didn't seem to have a smith anywhere. I can't tell what time of day it is. Alright, I'm gonna go by land first. Ah, now screw it. Let's just see where we end up. I think this is pushing deeper in. Is that a way I can go? Is this water? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I have defeated the boat. So much copper everywhere. It's ridiculous. Copper's becoming the new diorite. Okay. Sure. Oh. I 
I really like this terrain generation, but I'm it. I, I do kind of want to find more structures, and I think some of my structure mods might just not be applying. This is not like any normal biomes for them to be built in. What the hell is that? Oh, whole ass castle. Ooh, cows. I can kill cows for leather. I need leather. Let's go. Oh, over here, over here. Meet me over here. What am I not picking up? Uh, where do I drop? Yeah. Need your meat too. I'll take it. <laughs> Crazy. What do I got? I just need string. And I can make a backpack. Oh, hello, zombie horse. You really blend in. Oh, uh, with some noise. I don't know if I'm really going for this, but uh, it's going to be lousy with pillagers. I am not set up to take on a bunch of pillagers. If only I can. Oh, how well village though. That was like a bunch of fucking iron. Okay, okay, okay. It's gonna be, I feel like it's gonna be night soon. This is gonna be dangerous in a second. Oh boy, oh boy. I have a pickaxe, where's my pickaxe? Go, go. I'm gonna get that iron. Hell yeah. Is this one, two, three? That's it. Oh, I drop. Sure. Cool. Okay, village time. Go, 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 go. Ah, greedy, greedy. I really want that. Come on. Get me in that building. Oh, this is a Oh boy, okay. Uh let's There we go. That's gonna help. There's nobody here. Okay, we want to be further up though. Oh, actually, yeah, let's block that off. There we go. Two, three, yep. Cool. This is how we're going to survive. <laughs> uh, there. That. There. Got myself my little nook. Okay, let's cook that metal. Um, let's see. Cannot make, can't make the backpack. I can make the boots now, but it's too late. Not 
well organized here. Okay, so there's salmon. I should cook the beef. Kind of reduce the number of slots I have here. I'm full of stuff. Man, I need string. I need string for, for backpack. I need string for scaffolding. There's no making farms or anything in this. It's just going to be whatever I can find. All right. We're just going to let that ride and call it there. That. Okay. Well. Five there. Um, oh yeah, he moved infinitesimally, slowly. He crawled out from under the seat, watching the butcher's back uh, every minute as he did so. Once out, he began to crawl towards the door. Each step he took was a torment, but the butcher seemed far too engrossed in his conversation to turn around. Kaufman had reached the door. He began to stand up, trying all the while to prepare himself for the sight he would meet in car two. The handle was grass, and he slid the door open. The noise of the rails increased, and, he, and a wave of dank air, stinking of nothing on earth, came up at him. Surely the butcher must hear or smell. Surely he must turn. But no, Kaufman skinned his way through the slit he had opened, and so through into the bloody chamber beyond. Relief made him careless. He failed to latch the door properly behind him and it began to slide open with the buffeting of the train. Mahogany put his head out of the cabin and stared down the car towards the door. Whoa. What am I seeing? Okay, okay, okay. That's. I'm like looking at the background. I'm like, what is happening out there? Cool, 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 cool. Um. What the fuck's that? said the driver. Didn't close the door properly, that's all. Kaufman heard the butcher walking towards the door. He crouched a ball of consternation against the intersecting wall, suddenly aware of how full his bowels were. The door was pulled close from the other side and the footsteps receded again. Safe for another breath at last, at least. Kaufman opened his eyes, stealing himself for the slaughter the slaughter pen in front of him. There was no avoiding it. It filled every one of his senses, the smell of opened entrails, the sight of the bodies, the feel of the fluid on the floor under his fingers, the sound of the straps creaking beneath the weight of the corpses, even the air tasting salty with blood. He was with death absolutely in that cubby hole hurtling through the dark there was no nausea now there was no feeling left but a casual revulsion he even found himself peering at the bodies with some curiosity the carcass closest to him was the remains of the pimply youth he'd seen in car one the body hung upside down swinging back and forth to the rhythm of the train in unison with its three fellows an obscene dance macabre its arms dangled loosely from the shoulder joints into which gashes an inch or two deep had been made, so the bodies would hang more neatly. Every part of the dead kid's anatomy was swaying hypnotically, the tongue hanging from the open mouth, the head lolling on its slit neck, even the used penis flat from side to side on its plucked groin. The head, wound, and the open jugular still pulsed blood into a black bucket there was an elegance about the whole sight the sign of a job well done i don't know what that was uh beyond that body were the strung up corpses of two young white women with a darker skinned male kaufman turned his head on one side to look at their faces they were quite blank one of the girls was a beauty he decided the male had been puerto rican all were short uh shorn of their head and body hair. In fact, the air was still pungent with the smell of the shearing. The smell of the shearing. 
Hoffman slid up the wall out of the crouching position, and as he did so, one of the women's bodies turned around, presenting a dorsal view. He was not prepared for this last horror. The meat of her back had been entirely cleft open from neck to buttock, and the muscle had been peeled back to expose the glistening vertebrae. It was the final triumph of the butcher's craft. Here they hung, these shaved, bled, slit slabs of humanity opened up like fish and ripe for devouring. Kaufman almost smiled at the perfection of its horror. He felt an offer of insanity tickling the base of his skull, tempting him into oblivion, promising a blank indifference to the world. He began to shake uncontrollably. He felt his vocal cords trying to form a scream. It was intolerable. And yet to scream was to become in a short while like the creatures in front of him. Fuck it, he said more loudly than he intended. Then pushing himself off the wall, he began to walk down the car between the swaying corpses, observing the neat piles of clothes and belongings that sat at the seats beside their owners. Under his feet, the floor was sticky with drying bile. Even his eyes closed to, uh, closed to cracks he could see the blood in the buckets too clearly. It was too thick and heady, flecks of grit turning in it. He was past the youth now, and he could see the door into car three ahead. All he had to do was run his gauntlet of atrocities. Oh, we're getting daylight now. Uh, he urged himself on, trying to ignore the whores and concentrate on the doors that would lead him back into sanity. He was past the first woman. A few more yards, he said to himself. Uh, <laughs> ten steps at most, less if he walked with confidence. Then the lights went out. Jesus Christ, he said. Okay, stop there for a minute. And get back to the game. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay, so I got nobody just hanging out outside. That's great. if anybody's alive. Okay. Well, worth checking out. Let's see. Excellent. Didn't quite mean to do that. sword oh, a whole bunch of stuff oh, hi well this is everything i needed and then some uh i need the string where's the string there's the string uh huh nope yes any more Oh, I want those fire charges, too. I don't think I'm going to be getting a horse. Let's just dash that. Wow, a lot of them must have died to the, uh, the warriors. Oh. Um, yeah, I thought the pillagers would have done a little bit, too. I wasn't sure what would happen there. Oh, wow. Jeez. Hey. Cool. Come on, Golem. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough string yet. I see some. Oh, 
don't need that. Alright. Go check out the rest of this village. Oh, it's not a zombie cat. You know what? Maybe while I'm here, let's just throw that in and I'll just have to make sure to come back for it. Remember this house. Sure. Priest. Anything in there? Nope. Okay. The rest of it's up the hill here. Did anybody survive? What is this? Oh, shrine. That's right. Uh, I don't have anything for the shrine yet. I mean, there's still people, at least. Sadly, no good loot. Oh, I have all the string. Oh, amazing. I could have kept the saddle. Okay. Let's go collect my fish. I don't believe you. I wonder how to get into that. Like, Mm. Might not be a good idea. Shit. I can't pick up anything. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're a zombie. Ah. In fact, did. Okay. Let's toss some things. I uh, don't think that's going to work out for me. You know what I could do, though? I can make a backpack. But do I not have... Don't I have enough? Oh, I need a chest. Which I don't even have enough wood. Okay. That looks like enough. There we go. Hells yes. Now we got a backpack. I can store all this extra cool stuff in. Yep. Don't need that yet. Stack yet. Am I blind? I'm missing a stack of fish. I don't know where that's coming from. Ain't gonna get me. Uh, let's pack that. I do not need bones. Drop the bones. Why do I keep picking up? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I guess I can hang on to the bamboo now. So I'm in need of like... Okay, I'm going to need wood in general. Okay. Got to gotta organize this a little bit. Okay. So that, that, that. Those are fine there. I need, actually, I should have this closer. That's what I'm used to. We'll put that there. And then I need an axe. And then for pillaring, gravel's fine. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Okay, that's a good loadout.
Okay, back back. Right, let's deal with whatever that is. a bunch of them because it's so dark. You know what? Screw this place. It's well looted. Continue on this way? I want to say. Oh. What's going on? Computer's a little being a little weird. Let's see. Performance. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I want the music to keep cutting out just because I'm rowing my boat. So it's not even me like rowing around or, or anything. It's the moment I switch to Minecraft. That's stopping itself. Oh you no, know, OBS looks like it's still going. This is so weird. I don't know. I mean, I guess software updates are the main thing that change, but like really frustrating I have no idea what's like what did I do to break this everything was working okay now the music's just playing have we spoken too soon I think we're, gonna he I think we're heading back towards the city I didn't want to be at This was dawn, so let's run. Let's go. Too many ferns. I'll look now. I would eat you. I would be wasting time. Oh, oh, that looks bad. Okay, not that way. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Fuck you. Insight. That might have been my my fault, but okay. Sorry, we're never making it past nine days. Is there anything around the starting area that I like severely missed? It's impossible to tell. Meh. Whatever. Whatever. So I'm wondering if I want to change things up.
Maybe I'll try the next one without the... Oh, I think the train... Oh, shit. I was going to say without the train generation, but I think that might have been... Depends on if it's a forge mod or a data pack. It is. Let's try this one without. I don't want you to use that. I'm hitting recreate, maybe? Maybe that's why it's failing when I do that. Let's just double check. Is there another part that I'm not seeing? No. Okay. Let's create a new world then. Can I can I fucking take it out now? Where are you? I am so confused. Okay. Hold. Hold on. Go into just double check on where it's stored. Instances, hardcore. Well, it's not a mod, it's a data pack. Uh so saves. Okay, so what if I were to like cut that out and paste it somewhere random and let's go back into the game. So I cut and pasted the, the data pack into its own separate directory. Because I'm a garbage person who doesn't organize their hard drive properly. Um, anyway. Hopefully this will let me just recreate World 16. Different seed, but same settings. I would have recreated a new one. But there was something really strange about what it was giving me in the list of data packs and whatnot for, for a new world. And I wasn't sure what I was missing. Besides... The one that I was trying to take out. So, whatever. We'll figure this out. Ooh, super red. Okay, let's see if this will let me. So, recreate. Uh-oh. Well... Yeah. glance it looks fine I'm just gonna add a bunch more numbers on rare cities that should do it okay well if it's gonna let me I'm gonna read and wait for the world to come up all right where the hell were we Oh, yeah. The lights went out. That's right. Um, then the lights went out. 
Jesus Christ, he said. The train lurched and Kaufman lost his balance. In the utter blackness, he reached out for support and his flailing arms encompassed the body beside him. Before he could prevent himself, uh, he felt his hands sinking into the lukewarm flesh and his fingers grasping the open edge of muscle on the dead woman's back. His fingers touching the bone of her spine, his cheek was laid against the bald flesh of the thigh. He screamed, and even as he screamed, the lights flickered back on, and as they fluttered back on and his scream died, he heard the noise of the butcher's feet approaching down the length of the car, one towards the intervening door. Oh. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Boop. Day one. Lost the music. That's fine. You know what? We don't always have to play with music. Let's just stop. Let's just stop. And... There. Oh, yeah. And it's world 17. Oh, well, that duck means diamonds. Okay. Ah, oh, indeed. Oh, no, sorry, bud. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, I have no emeralds. Let me see what you got, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need some tools. Uh, do you have... You don't have a workbench around, do you? Damn it. Okay. Okay. Come on. Why am I getting so much... Slow down and lag on this right now. This is not normal. Okay, one and two. Okay, so that's something. Now, I'm just gonna rip up your floor, sir. I need to make myself some stone tools. Oh, that's funny. Um, come on. Okay. So much lag, it's really driving me nuts. Okay, basic tools. Uh, might as well get a boat. Amaze. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is nice. Wait, what? Oh, your building is exposed. Oh, interesting. What do they have? Oh, yeah, they have armor. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm not going to be able to get up. Hello, Shalone and Myrtle. Is it Murty? Murty. Nothing on the, uh, nothing on the old brewing stand. Okay. Well, I need to get upstairs. So. 
rumah ini There we go. Oof. Oh, did not mean for that. Fuck, fuck. It's lagging so much. Tanking my frames, but I could barely react to that. Hmm. I think I think despite the fact that I've only been going for about an hour, I think I'm gonna call it there. I'm I'm left unsatisfied. <laughs> and uh yeah. I need to do some tweaks or something, figure out what's going on in my system that I'm getting this much lag going on right now. I have nothing else running, just OBS. I felt like something with that shader, but it wasn't just that shader. I don't know. I, I will figure it out and we will try this again sometime. So we're on... Next world is world 18. I don't think I have a much of an interest of continuing this series past October, especially if it's going to keep giving me this much grief. I just found out that the um, Vivecraft is released on 1.19.2, which means that I can use it on this if I wanted and do this in VR, but I don't think it's even going to run. I have a 2060 and it's just not able to put it out. It's probably my processor or something else. I don't know. My system isn't great, but it's okay. Um, I have some other horror games I want to play this month, so I might not do this one on Wednesday. I might try doing something else on Wednesday. I'm thinking Wednesday I'll do um, some indie horror games and get that recorded because I really want to go through some of the old, uh, like the music machine and a few of the other old creepy whores. Oh, milk inside a bag of milk and milk outside a bag of milk. Both of those. So yeah, I think we're going to call it there. So thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I don't think there's anybody to raid. Let's look. Who's online? Mm. Well, I don't think I have anybody here to raid with, so that's fine. Yeah, we'll just call it there. All right. Hope you all have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow for Wonderlands with uh, uh, Rat Sandwich and Omega L. That'll be a lot of fun. Our first playthrough still going through that. So, yeah, catch that around 7 Pacific time tomorrow. And have a good night. Bye.